Hi, welcome to the cocktail vlog. Earlier today I was browsing through Reddit and I found a, a really cool cocktail that I thought I'd experiment with. It's called the Isla Tea Party. So originally, given that the name is the Isla Tea Party, I was assuming it was gonna have a really smoky whiskey, but the reason it's named that is because it has an Isla gin. Uh, not this particular one, this is a Melbourne gin. Uh, I'm just substituting, but the particular flavors of this cocktail would actually work really well with a smoky whiskey. So I'm gonna try that again at a later point. Those other ingredients being um, an Earl Grey tea, uh, ginger and honey syrup, and citrus. So those flavors would work really well together, whilst the gin is gonna play really well with the grapefruit notes of the Aperol. So to get started, this one's a shaking cocktail. 1.5 ounces of gin, 45 mils, followed by just a small touch, so a quarter, quarter ounce, 7.5 mils of Aperol. So real subtle grapefruit notes and a little bit of bitterness to it. And an Earl Grey tea. Um, this is really light in color, so it hasn't been steeping very long. And the original poster actually does mention to make sure it's steeped longer. So apologies. So two ounces, 60 mils. Straight into there followed by honey and ginger syrup. So it's just a one-to-one -one syrup, so honey and water, and I've put some ginger juice in it as well. One ounce, 30 mils, pour it all over the bar, make a mess, then fresh lime juice. Half an ounce, 15 mils, and then the final ingredient, just a pinch of salt. Fill your Boston glass with ice and give it a good shake. So this one's served over crushed ice. So I've used a mallet and a Lewis bag and prepped this beforehand. So it's probably easiest not to fill it all the way to the top. Uh, pour your drink in and then you can always put a little bit more ice in after. So strain in. See what I mean? If I filled that with crushed ice, then it'd be overflowing. And for garnish for this one, is a grapefruit rose. which is one of the featured garnishes that I actually uh, posted about recently. I'll link to that in the description. I'll link to it up here. Nice and simple. Uh, peel off a bit of that grapefruit peel and then stab it with a pick. And then a couple of pieces of candy, candy ginger. Just sort of scatter that over the top and finish it with a mint sprig. Give the mint a little bit of a whack and then release those aromas. And there you have the Isla Tea Party. Cheers. Really nice, beautiful and refreshing. The Aperol is very subtle. Uh, the ginger and the honey kind of uh, overpower it. So personally, I'd probably up it just a tiny bit, but those flavors work really well together and it's a delicious drink. It looks really awesome with the garnish. So I'll make sure I link to the original post as well so you can check it out. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.